All right, for the final Google Sheets demo, we're going to be using ChatGPT to help us code app scripts. Now, for anyone that isn't familiar with an app script, it's essentially the Google Sheets version of an Excel macro, and it's used to automate different tasks. Now, this should be interesting because to be perfectly honest, I've actually never written an app script myself, so it is going to be a great example to showcase how good ChatGPT is at actually writing some of these. So for this example, we're going to be working with the same order data set that we've been using so far. And I've created a small report here that's calculating the average quantity ordered by product for each month. And we can select the month from this drop down here. And you'll see that it will update accordingly. The problem is that when I wrote these formulas, which are average if formulas, I didn't consider the fact that there were some months in which some products weren't ordered. So we're getting an error of a division by zero, when really we should be getting just a zero since nothing was ordered. So I could go ahead and write an if error statement around the formula. But this is actually a scenario that I encounter very often. So let's see if we can automate the process of wrapping the formulas in an if error statement using app scripts. So let's head over to ChatGPT and let's write our prompt. So can you help me write an app script in Google Sheets that wraps any formulas in the selected cells in an if error? We'll want whatever formula is in there here and then we'll want to return blank whenever this returns an error. So let's send this and let's see what we get. It looks like it can help. All right, let's grab this code. And actually, before I go back to Google Sheets, let's read the instructions here because I don't want to make any wrong turns. So let's open the Google Sheets document click on extensions and then app script and the editor replace any code with the provided script save it close it select the range go back to app scripts and then select the code that we want to run so let's go back here and we want it to go through extensions app script it's creating a project all right, let's replace the existing code here. Just press OK here. Let's save it. And I'm not going to close this since it did ask me to come back here. So I'm just going to go back to Google Sheets, select this entire range. These aren't formulas and these are. So I want to see if it only tries to apply it to the cells that contain formulas. Let's go back here and let's see if we can run the selected function. All right, let's review these permissions. Looks like I just had to sign back into my account. Let's allow the project to access it. Started completed and let's go back and see what we've got. Wow, that's incredible. So it did replace the errors here. It wrapped our function in an if error statement added the blank in case it was returning an error. And it looks like I actually was using a formula here. It wrapped that in an if error statement as well. I was returning the unique products from this column here. So now let's just change the month. And this is working perfectly. So that was pretty incredible. That said, it is a little inconvenient that I have to go back here and run the code every single time. I wish that I could have, you know, a menu somewhere here where I could just run whichever macro I wanted. In Excel, you can add a shortcut. So let's see if we can ask ChatGPT if that's possible. So I'm going to go back to ChatGPT. Let's type in our new prompt. So can you help me write another script that adds the if error script to the Google Sheets menu bar in my existing workbook? Let's see if this is something that's possible. All right, so it looks like it's returning the new script and the old one. Let's copy everything 
And I'm assuming we just need to replace the entire code here. So now we've got both functions. Let's save this. So we've got wrap formulas in error. That's this one. We've got on open, which is this one. I've saved it. Let's go back to the instructions. It looks like this is triggered when the Google Sheets document is opened. We already have it open, so let's just run it ourselves. Go back. And I don't really see the menu anywhere. Let's go back here. So I think it should have created a custom menu, but I'm not seeing it anywhere. Wrap formulas in if error. Wrap formulas in if error. Oh, I think I ran this one actually. Let's select on open. Let's run that. Now if we go back, okay, we've got our custom menu with our script. This is unbelievable. So we have formulas here. Let's just select this entire range. And let's run our script. Looks like it's finished. And it looks like it deleted everything that isn't a formula. So that's not great. To be fair, it did wrap it in the if error function. I probably can't undo. Oh, I can undo. That's pretty cool. You can't undo app scripts in Excel. So maybe let's just select this and run it. All right. So there's some fine tuning to do. We could probably prompt ChatGPT and say, hey, it's deleting everything that isn't a formula. I want it to stay there and wrap the formulas in an if error statement. But for now, we can just select the ones that we know have formulas like these and then run the script that way. So there you have it. Yet another use case to use ChatGPT to boost your productivity in Google Sheets. Hey there, if you like this video and you want to learn more, check out our brand new free course, ChatGPT for Data Analytics. You can find it at mavenanalytics.io. We'll walk you through our best practices and some of the most interesting use cases for tools like Excel, Google Sheets, Power BI, SQL, and Python. It's a fun little course, and it's a great way to get up to speed in these new AI tools. I hope you'll check it out and let us know what you think.